everyone. I'm here with Connor Hardy today in the Massimo Pulse Oximetry team. We had an issue this morning where we talked about uh, some new technology in the building for pulse oximetry, which we use through the emergency department, the operating room, critical care, and so many other places, including the NICU. And one of the things we need to think about is applying the uh, strips onto the fingers or the connectors to the ears appropriately. Now, the technology is different, so what's key about this uh, application is that we, the placement of the probe is the most important uh, with this new technology. So I have a few examples for you that I'll show you. This one here obviously is the adult uh, size and type of pulse ox for patients that are 30 kilograms and higher. You can see here that there is a diagram of a finger and then a black spot here which is actually the sensor. The key to this is if you can see here the black line on the bottom and the black line on the top are lined up uh, directly over the top of each other. Do the close-up demonstration on the adult um, sensor. I'm going to go ahead and peel off like so and again the sensor on this one is actually down here and you want to use either the ring finger or the middle finger and so you want to put the pad of your uh, finger right over the sensor and then ideally you want to line up that black line right there with the nail and fold it over like so uh, to make sure that the black lines uh, line up which they do pretty well there and if it's not you slide it down a little bit and then you can secure like that but you can see the black lines line up and then where my fingernail is is that black line in the middle with the sensor on the bottom pad and then the part that looks like the finger goes on last not first last uh, over the top another uh, sensor that uh, you're used to seeing is this one here. This is for patients that are three kilograms and under or 40 kilograms and over. A lot of the pediatric population will utilize this, although adults can use it as well. I'm gonna take the sticker off here and you'll see that there are two uh, electronic looking dots, if you will. The sensor is the one that is near the cable and you wanna put that under the pad of the finger and the second one goes over the top of the finger and then wrap it around like so. Ideally the sensor in this spot right here should be right in alignment uh, with each other perpendicular through the finger. So that's the correct placement for that one. Straight that um, cloth uh, sensor again so you want to take this component off. Again, a little different on this one is that the sensor is actually uh, right here attached to the wire. Uh, well, the beam and the sensor is actually over here. And you take the pad of your finger, put it right over that. Wrap this around again on the ring finger or the middle finger. You want to tighten it just enough so that the black square here and the, so the sensor and the beam line up perpendicularly through the finger. So it's kind of, uh, you look at it like so, the black pad is there and the star is there. So they're lined up pretty well. And of course you can wrap that around. Now you have that one. Show you how to use properly the uh, ear probe, which is commonly used in the operating room, intensive care unit, emergency department, and many other areas of the organization, and we'll use a, a, a model uh, individual for that. Before I show you the proper way to utilize the ear probe, I'll show you the improper way, which is commonly how a lot of people use it. T people will typically uh, apply the ear probe to the uh, lobe of the ear like this, that is not correct. Or they'll apply the probe to the outer part of the ear here. That is also not correct. The proper placement of the ear probe on the ear 
with this component with the rubber on it. Uh, this needs to go inside the ear just like that so it's patient, comfortable on the patient and then it can use the tissue through the cartilage etc on the, on the uh, inner portion of the ear. So this is the correct placement here, incorrect placement here, incorrect placement here. Again, correct placement, plastic area, plastic part in the ear and I'll show you the back part so it should fit just like that. Joining me for learning a little bit about the new Massimo pulse oximeters we have at St. Mary's. If you have any questions about this, there are some handouts or you can ask uh, your uh, educator in your area or your manager or director and uh, for the proper placement. Thank you again and thanks for taking care of our patients.